I am a scrappy sort of fellow. My shop is typically a mess of sawdust, Valentine's Day cards, random articles of clothing, and little bits of wood that have been tossed aside. And in the past few weeks, I have been trying to deal with this mess by using up some of my scraps. So in today's video, I will be using some more scraps and carefully crafting a few keychains, because I can. Sun Tzu stated in his legendary book, The Art of War, the general who wins the battle makes many calculations in his temple before the battle is fought. The only problem with applying this to my current situation is that my temple hasn't been completed yet, so I guess for now I'll stick to using the garage. That quote is the very reason I started out by just dumping a bunch of scraps on my table that I pretend is a workbench, and then sorted the scraps into various piles according to their height and stature. For indeed, many calculations lead to victory, and few calculations lead to defeat. How much more no calculations at all? This week in my ultimate quest to find the best glue spreading device, I try using a cheap plastic miter gauge. 4 out of 10 functionality. After gluing up the first block, I went back and did the same thing with another set of scraps. I did this for two reasons. One was because making small things in large batches tends to be far more efficient, and inefficiency is my middle name. But the more important reason was to get another opportunity to run some tests. The glue spreading on the first go round was a real letdown, so I had to have another go at it to see if I could find something that would work better. For science. This time, I decided to try using a Phillips head screwdriver. At first I tried using the tip, and that was really bad, probably a 2 out of 10. But then I started using the whole pole thing, and the results were astonishing. The glue was spread in a very rapid and even manner. I was elated. People rarely showcase their excitement for such a thing as small as discovering that a screwdriver is in fact a functional tool. But, here is a quote from Wayne Dyer that really brings about a powerful message. To be more childlike, you don't have to give up being an adult. A fully integrated person is capable of being both an adult and a child simultaneously. Recapture the childlike feelings of wide-eyed excitement, spontaneous appreciation, cutting loose, and being full of awe and wonder at this magnificent universe. I've been on a convoluted tangent of various quotes and philosophical thoughts and even some scientific discoveries. Time to sally forth and regather my thoughts and words with what is actually going on in the video. I sent both of the sandwiches through the planer to get them flat and even on both sides, and then I proceeded to cut thinner slices out of these sandwiches, approximately the width of a sausage patty. Ryan from the future here predicting what Ryan from the past is going to do. I only used two of these slices to make the keychains for this video, which means I have a lot of stock left over to make more if people buy them. I was thinking about putting them up on my website, but the problem is that all of them are a little bit different. So if you want to buy one from me, just leave me a comment or casually slide into my DMs and we can sort it out. I gave the slices a quick sanding because it would be easier to do that now rather than later, and then I printed out a piece of paper that had some various shapes on it, and using some glue that I stole from some kindergartners as they were getting off the bus during a blizzard, I glued the shapes to a bit of plywood. You might think it was a bit rash just to steal glue off some kindergartners, but fear not, I stole their scissors too. You still might think that was a dog of a move, but Sun Tzu says, Ultimate excellence lies not in winning every battle, but in defeating the enemy without ever fighting. And they were the only people I thought I could defeat without actually fighting. So in doing this, I have also achieved the status of ultimate excellence. From there, I just cut out the shapes on the scroll saw. These plywood pieces are going to be used as templates. I did a circle, a cat, an outline of me, a heart, and a rabbit. One really odd thing about my hobby is that I have made at least 250 pens, yet whenever I am looking for a pen to use in my workshop, I can never find one. So I had to steal the refill out of a pen kit in my shop and use that to trace out the shapes. 
Simply for the sake of the essence of time, I was in a time crunch to get this video done, I decided to do only 9 keychains. I think I tried to do 12, but some of them I stuck in my pocket and forgot about until all the other ones were done. So I just set the few that were in my pocket aside to finish making whenever I go about making more of these things. This scroll saw is- Oh my! Calm down! Calm down! This scroll saw is quickly becoming my most utilized tool in the shop, second only to my table saw. I very much enjoy making things using it, and to this date I have yet to cut a finger, or a toe for that matter, on it. I then attached a really thin Dremel diamond bit to my drill press to drill a tiny hole in which I could insert a little eye hook at a later date. This will all make sense in the end. The Dremel bit was the only bit that I could find that was small enough to drill a hole. Oh yeah, here comes a bit of foolishness. I decided it would be cool to attempt to add a rounded edge on all the oval keychains. So I attempted to do that on the router table. I did the first one just fine, but then after that, something that wasn't even remotely dangerous occurred, and I decided that maybe I shouldn't be using such a powerful tool on such a small thing. And for the record, the number of fingers on my hands did not decrease but my fear of router tables greatly increased. It certainly wasn't anything dangerous that led me to making this decision though. Surely never I. I then plopped my guitar upside down in my vise to sand all the little pieces, and then I laid them out on some paper towels in order to apply a finish. I used Howard's Feed and Wax, which is an oil and wax finish. I have no idea what the feed part of the product name is supposed to mean. I used this mostly because it was really convenient, it smells good, like me, and doesn't need a bunch of time to dry or cure. I then twisted in an eye hook into each of the individual keychains. I got these eye hooks off of Amazon, I think I got like 500 of them for like $6. I don't know what it is about me and my family, but we never seem to have really basic tools. I spent like 25 minutes looking for a pair of pliers. It's odd because we have plenty of really obscure tools that no one ever uses, but like a hammer or a shovel? Best of luck finding that. Actually we do have hammers. That's about it. Thanks for watching to the end. Feel free to subscribe if you're new, and if you're already subscribed, then thanks for that. If you comment, I will likely reply. I very much enjoy feedback on my videos, so fire away. It's been new, it's been weird. Until next time, go have fun and enjoy things. Cheers.